Hi Team Raven, today we're gonna install Genesis 3 and Genesis 3 PM. Hey guys, following me through these steps, we'll install the Genesis 3 version 2. Compared from what we have before, the old Genesis 3 is good and there's no doubt about it. But it has some limited capabilities such as it has some issues since it is a desktop application from the first version. It is hard to put different kind of images and those images will install on the local machine so that we can't share it on other people. But the Genesis 3 version 2, this is the bomb. For those people that's getting started with configuring different kind of devices, this is the application for you. This one is recommended for most situations when you are using different kind of operating system. It's robust way of creating Genesis 3 topologies that avoid multiple common issues experienced when using a local install of Genesis 3 before. It also has different kind of features like this one has the possibility to use a remote server such as your VM. In other words, multiple clients can control the app at the same time. You can also back up all your project, settings, and snapshot, periodic extraction of startup config, port dynamics, and IOU. Better start, stop, suspend all nodes, export portable projects, smart packet capture, link label style, save as you go, having some cloud VPCs, not API, <laughs> woo, and more. <laughs> I enjoy that. Using the file given at the link below, you need to download it. It's almost 6 gig, but don't worry, it will be worth it. Since there are already some images inside, like router, switches, firewall, and end device that have different kind of brand. And these are the thing that we are going to use for our training path. So download it now, pause this video, cause I will wait for you. Since you are done downloading, let's start. First things first. Let's extract the file that you get. After extracting the file, you will get this too. A Genesis 3 installer and a Genesis 3 OVF file for your virtual machine. Next, here is the license agreement. I still recommend for you to read it, but as of now, I click I agree. Next, here are the components that will be added with your Genesis 3. I strongly recommend for you to add the birth viewer. Next, and let's click install. It'll take some time, so please bear with me. Guys, by the way, if there will be some an additional pop-up that asking you to install, just click yes, except for this license agreement. You can click cancel for this one. Click next. This is SolarWind standard tool set. I don't need it as of now, so I click no for this one. Next. And finish. So our GNS3 as of now is up. Since it's done, guys, if ever the Genesis 3 is asking you to update to the latest version, maybe you can just say no to that as of now. Next, let's open the OVF file for your VMware. By the way, you can also open this on your virtual box. So as you can see, if I double click it, it will open using the virtual box. But as of now, I will click, right click, and then open using my VMware workstation. There you go. Just need to put a name on it. Just click import. Wait for it. Okay, now it's up. I will change some settings inside. So right click, click settings. Guys, we need to make sure that our virtual machine can talk to our Genesis 3. So change the network adapter to host only as of now. And if ever, maybe our Genesis 3 is planning to go to the internet, maybe I need to use the bridge for VM net zero. Okay, so there you go. Just click OK. Next, click Run or start up your guest operating system. Okay, as you can see, my virtual machine already have an IP address of 192.168.88.134 and the password of that is Genesis 3. Don't forget that because we're gonna use that later. On our next step, we need to make sure that the Genesis 3 VM will be used as our local server so that we can get the images. So going back to our Genesis 3. Guys, as you can see here, we only have a couple of devices that we can use. Since we're not done yet linking the Genesis 3 and the Genesis 3 VM. So to do that, click edit, 
preferences. Go to server. Uncheck this one for me. I want to manually assign it. I need to put here the IP address of my GNS3 VM, which is 192.168.88.134. Okay. I will use the port 3080. Okay. For authentication, the username should be admin, but the password should be GNS3. GNS3. So click apply. And click OK. So there you have it. Guys, here are the list of devices that you can already use right now. So to test it, maybe we can create a new project. Click OK for that. Let's drag a couple of devices. A tiny core for my end user. A port gate for my firewall. Maybe a Cisco router for my router, of course. And a switch. Let's try to connect them to each other. There you go. And then let's try to click start on our devices right now. As of now, these devices are booting. So to verify it, maybe we can right click console it right now. Here you go. This is the tight BNC viewer for my tiny core Linux. I also have a patty here for my party kit. And another patty here for my router. So here we go. The tiny core Linux is already up. The control panel is here. You can change the mouse tool, network, and date time. And if ever you want to have some terminal, here you go. The router is not done yet. Ah, here you go. The R1 is done. Configure terminal. Interface, if ever you want to change. Faster if it's zero. No shutdown, of course. Here's your port gate. It's still booting right now. Maybe it will just need to take more time. Yeah, it's done. So we can log in as of now by typing admin. And there will be no password. Just click or press enter again. So if you want to change the interface, config system interface. Edit port 1 set IP and so on and so forth by the way if you want to change the terminal from putty to secure CRT that won't be a problem you just need to make sure you already install the secure CRT on your device also we need to locate it if that is a 64-bit secure CRT it will be saved here but if that is a 32-bit it will be saved on the program files 86 so if I'm not mistaken my band like or secure CRT is a 32-bit So this is the application and it's already installed on my program files 86. So to edit or change it from PuTTY to Secure CRT, go to Edit, Preferences, Console Application, click Edit, change it to Secure CRT. Remember, it is located on x86 program file, so I'll edit here as well. Click OK, click Apply, and click OK again, and click right-click, Console. And right click console this one again. So there you go. From Putty, it's already secure CRT. Then we are done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I've been a big help to everyone. Also, Ryban will keep on posting different kind of video for you guys. Keep safe, no to COVID, God bless, peace.